aquaculture not only is here to stay, it is the future. Uh, of course, capture fisheries will remain. It will remain very important. But the growth in, uh, in demand in the world can only be met through increased production in aquaculture. And um, not only it's an emerging industry, it's in fact a reality. 50% uh, already, or very close to 50% of all the fish that we consume as human beings, in fact, already today originates in aquaculture. But it's not only uh, reality, it is the future. In fact, consumers all over the world, because of uh, improved access to, to, to food, to fish, to distribution channels, are looking to uh, fish and fisher products as a, an important source of much of their uh, animal protein. And in fact, the demand from uh, world consumers all over the world uh, to fish can only be met by aquaculture. And aquaculture production, of course, is uh, truly international. Uh, most of it takes place in, in Asia, but also uh, Latin America, Central America, uh, Europe have important aquaculture sectors, even though the large, large share of production still takes place in, in Asia and will remain so. There are, of course, a number of constraints. Uh, there are limitations, and these limitations are becoming more important, such as uh, space uh, limitations and also access to water. But we believe that through investments, through uh, improved technology, through improved feed, uh, aquaculture, the aquaculture sector will be able to uh, supply uh, this, this uh, gap that we uh, envision uh, in the future if demand is growing. So we think uh, certainly that aquaculture will rise to the challenge, will be able to supply um, world consumers with, with the demand. We know that um, production is growing uh, not only for exports, but also for uh, domestic local production. We have a number of very uh, encouraging examples, especially now in, in Africa. Africa maybe is the continent where aquaculture was, uh, was uh, left behind to some extent, but it's actually now the, 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 the region where aquaculture production finally is growing very, very quickly. And it's not growing for exports, it's growing for domestic and regional consumption. And this, of course, is very encouraging. the particularities of aquaculture. In fact, aquaculture uh, allows uh, much more planning and, and specific uh, requirements than uh, capture fishery does. And this uh, also helps uh, processors and, and importers and brand owners because they know what they would like to see from, from the sector. They know the the, the size, they know the color, etc. They know the price they would like to see. And this is something that the aquaculture sector, just like the agricultural sector, through planning and through foreseeable uh, production cycles, are able to, uh, to fulfill. So we believe that it's not only a question of a very important part of reality, it's also a very important part of the future, together with, of course, capture fisheries. men and women um, in developing countries very often they are small-scale producers very often they belong or come from the informal sector but through the growth of the of the sector they have become more professionalized they uh, are licensed uh, they at times get certified uh, they get into the formal economy and therefore thereby they also manage to improve their own livelihoods through connecting with markets through connecting to the real economy and markets, whether they are local, regional, or international, and thereby they also uh, able to increase their own uh, standard of living. Uh, they can get more uh, values out of the products, out of the production, thereby contributing to the welfare of their own family, getting money for education of their children, for example, and getting access to goods and services that they didn't have before.